Welcome everyone. Glad you can make it here to our operational services internet GIS portal. And uh, basically today we're going to go over a street light application. Uh, it's a spatial type of application but it's very useful. In fact the CSRT and Public Works uh, they use this often. And if this is a little bit new to you that's fine. A little practice you get right up to speed. Now if you look at the spatial menu, uh, you can scroll down to you see street lights under CSRT and just go ahead and click on that. And this is going to bring you to a ArcGIS application that we created. And now that you see this uh, interesting screen here, you notice the different uh, colors of points here. Uh, this actually, uh, let me give you a little history of this. Um, application. This was actually created to direct uh, work orders that came in on streetlight maintenance to the proper group or agency. Uh, we have different uh, maintenance uh, groups that actually maintain different uh, areas of streetlights. For example, the green light here, the little dots, these streetlights are actually maintained by the city city maintains that through their staff or sometimes they'll uh, contract it out but it goes to the city okay the blue lights or the blue dots that you see are actually FPL maintained street lights so even though it may be routed to CSRT the work order is given out to FPL for completion now as we move um, east towards the city uh, you see the orange dots representing the county street lights each one of these okay now uh, if you see this lime green area this actually represents a uh, private HOA maintenance so sometimes we'll oh, we'll get an address that geocodes inside this area and we have to refer them back to their HOA to take care of that okay so now that we got a quick uh, overview uh, let me um, go in in how we actually use this application okay so up here we have different buttons zoom in uh, zoom out this actually uh, gives you a full extent it'll go ahead and uh, show you the whole entire um, city and um, we can actually go ahead uh, first way if you know where you're going you can uh, click the zoom button uh, left click on the mouse and then drag a window and it's going to go ahead and zoom right in there. Now as you notice uh, this area here near Monarch Lakes and Miramar Parkway uh, is you see a, a different mixture of lights but you also see the IDs uh, that's enclosed like MIR2162. Now we can go ahead and click on any one of these for example if, say I want to get more information on that light we we'll click on that you see city street lights on the top the plus sign we're gonna go ahead and uh, open that expand it then you see uh, street lights uh, for it. just go ahead and click that it opens that and then one more time and it actually opens the information now what that does it gives you a number of information that's useful. This is the FPO ID, Miramar 2162. It also highlights the little blue tag right on there. Um, account number, that's the general account number the city uses. FPO grid numbers, different uh, reference addresses. This component, uh, this is HPS, which stands for high pressure sodium, uh, 400 watt bulb. This is very useful because sometimes. Um, if uh, a city employee knows this ahead of time, they can make sure they're stocked before they even go out to the location that they have the actual supply. Now, moving a little bit down, we actually see um, latitude and longitude. Uh, Sometimes this is given in an effort to communicate to other entities. Uh, they can use these coordinates, and using their system, they can uh, locate this. Uh, the location of these uh, streetlights as well. Now, we also have um, 
this tool up here under measure if you click on it if you click on point coordinates you can also click on it this way and it will give you the NAD 83 state plane coordinates the X and Y coordinates sometimes that is used as well in communication okay th those are just um, extra tools uh, not everyone uses those now while we're at it uh, this measure tool uh, you can measure it sometimes you might want to get a distance from this to the uh, uh, center line you just click on that well go back here and uh, click on that and then bring it to the center line double click on it it gives you in miles but you can easily change this to feet kilometers we're going to go ahead and change it to feet and that's 57.3 feet from the center line of Vermont Parkway and where that uh, street light is located so <clears throat> we have uh, different tools and uh, these extra tools are detached where you can move them around or you can close it out uh, that is one way of looking and uh, looking up uh, streetlight information. Uh, this information here can also be relayed to other entities. You can also uh, right click here and say you want to uh, email uh, this picture. You can do that um, and uh, it will go ahead and uh, do that as well. Now that one just kind of brings this up uh, we're gonna go original size it gives you different sizes we'll do original size attach and what it'll do is bring up the actual email and with the uh, GIF file already in Let me go ahead continue another way uh, we can do um, we can go ahead and locate this by uh, zooming well zo we, I already zoomed in the second way if someone calls in uh, with the Miramar ID so we can go Miramar Poe ID let's say they actually call in um, a uh, an ID they saw on the pole uh, it's normally had it's a yellow tag with black letters and they want they called in uh, a light pole with the ID of M I R thirty nine two four with no spaces. Okay, then you click on find. Uh, RGS will go find it. You see it here it found one match. You click on a plus, and what you do here is you uh, expand it and then go ahead and zoom to it. Okay, now when you zoom to it is you can see right here it puts a, a blue marker in the middle of the screen and we can actually zoom in a little bit closer and uh, we can still see the ID marked okay now once you do that uh, you can also expand that as well and you get the similar information about that uh, street light and uh, this is a high pressure sodium as well okay now those are some of the basic ways of uh, locating uh, street lights uh, we got other ways we can do this as well and I'm gonna go over those next this is the address approximator let's say you have uh, an address and you don't have a um, Miramar street light ID you just have a, a you know approximate address someone called in or emailed in and we're going to just use an address, for example, 2913 Southwest 67 Way. Okay. And when you do this, just put a um, this one space in between. Okay. Each uh, designated, um, you got the, the address, the direction, and the street name. Um, and that way, it makes it easier for the program to work. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you have it 90% uh, 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 spelled correctly it still will find it okay click on find it found it and what I do here we click on it and then we right click and click on zoom to you see zoom to and the zoom to and it's gonna put it right in the middle of the screen right here 
Now, the reason why it's called an address uh, approximator because it's just putting it in a close proximity of the actual address. This is done by a geocoded range. And you can see there is a light that's near that uh, marker. We can zoom in a little bit more. And you see Miramar 6227. Okay. So that might be a light that we need to check out. Now, sometimes um, people will call in with the actual exact address of a partial address, for example. And um, we're going to go ahead and put that same address in there uh, and look at the difference 2913 Southwest. 67 way okay click find okay and it came back with the retrieval uh, we're going to hit click the plus sign the plus sign again and then uh, we make that check mark you can see it actually highlighted the actual parcel okay so you can find uh, street lights that way as well uh, we have basically four ways of doing it. You can always zoom in it spatially if you know where you're going. If you don't and you have a, a pull ID, you can locate it that way as we've shown. Or by an address, approximate address, or partial address. Okay. Uh, these are all very useful tools. And um, also, um, if um, you have an intersection, you can go to address approximator again and let's say you have red road okay and Merrimont Parkway we're gonna put like a, an at symbol for an and and we want to find street lights at red road and Merrimont Parkway we put an at sign and put M I R Merrimont and then P K Y Parkway click on find Okay, it found um, two references. We only need one. It's, it says, are you sure uh, it's Parkway or you meant Boulevard? We, we want Parkway. So we're going to go ahead and uh, right click on that and then zoom to it. And, and GIS is going to take us right there just like uh, what you see on, on, on Google except it's going to have all layers and all features on it. Okay. Um, you can see this is where... Uh, uh, Red Road and Merrimont Parkway resides. You see if I can uh, zoom out just a little bit. Um, uh, even if you zoom out, you can get a, a better feel. But uh, this will take you uh, to the area that you might want to investigate. And as you zoom in, you see all the IDs. And you can select on any of these, and it'll give you additional information. Okay, now hopefully that is useful to you. Uh, we also have some other tools you can use as well um, embedded in this application. Uh, There's a navigation uh, tool uh, you can use, and basically you, you can actually click on this and it can zoom in or zoom out. Um, There's an overview map. Uh, this is kind of interesting. You can click on this and move this along this way and it'll shift the map uh, wherever you want to go okay well I hope this uh, information was useful to you and, um, and this will help you uh, locate street lights and direct it to the maintaining party take care and God bless <laughs>